Hello everybody, I hope that you're doing very well and welcome to today's cryptocurrency technical analysis where I'm going to be going through the Bitcoin chart in the Bitcoin chart in front of you. I'm going to be explaining the range that is still ongoing and how it is just so of the utmost importance to be trading the range until it breaks. That does mean looking for longs at the lows and shorts at the highs. I've been saying this and preaching it for a very long time, but as you can see, everybody trying to buy the breakout absolutely wrecked everybody trying to short the breakdown absolutely wrecked it's just been a very much a buyers and non-emotional traders market okay anybody that has had the emotions to short the high close shorts at the low look for longs at the low has been very much rewarded and you know that's not how 95 percent are trading they are going to be emotional at these lows thinking right this is it it's time to break down up those highs thinking this is it it's time to break up you know, you're hitting stop losses left, right and center liquidations across the board. Um, I hope to bring a little bit of clarity in this video and explain how I have been approaching this market and uh, how I still continue to trade this right now. So I hope that you thoroughly enjoy. And uh, yeah, let's begin bringing us back a few days into the past here. And that was off of the rising wedge that we initially had. This was obviously my perspective in the time that we would move up to fake out of the rising wedge, take the liquidity, and then obviously drop back down to the low of the range. And that obviously progressed very nicely as we come along. We did get the fake out of the high of the wedge. We did take the upper side liquidity, obviously brought us down to looking for lower prices before up once more. As you all know, we did get the low in the end of the 886, and that's where we're looking then for the high around $10,000. $440. Okay, let me just add this onto the chart so you can see exactly how this was pulled. That's a Fibonacci. Then from the low of A here up to the top of B, you can see how the CC originally offered support before dropping to the C, which is the A86. Bounce, bouncing off the CC, changing market structure. And that's obviously at the time where we're then looking for around that region 10,450. And I think what is so brilliant about this sort of prediction is that it does look fairly complex and i show you this obviously we've got rising wedges we've got fibonacci we've got harmonics going on here we've got fibonacci time going on here there's a whole range of uh complex topics let's say but at the end of the day it is just a range isn't it it's looking for longs down at the lows and shorts up at the highs with little fake outs obviously within inside that this was the beauty of how this progressed yesterday i must admit it really is a beauty for me anyway that that prediction of, of expecting those highs to be put in after once again taking those highs was just absolutely correct. As you can see, we got the move up to uh, literally the high being there around 10,440. And um, then that presents you with a CCV setup, which we had actually had the, you know, the, the same day. But as you can see, um, let's go on to the CCV setup here a second. And this is obviously a short position really taken from the harmonic high. Um, so here you had a confluence of a CCV setup and you also had confluence obviously of a bearish harmonic. This is a bearish Gartley harmonic. You're obviously looking for the shorts around point D. Uh, from point D, as you can see, you, you did get a really nice CCV setup, which was shorts from the high here, bringing it all the way down to $10,000. So a very substantial decrease in price. And uh, I think this is... Um, what I really want to focus on in this video is explaining that short targets have been hit. That means shorting up there at D, you then come down to targets. And guess what? When you hit targets, instead of sometimes I will trail stops, but as in this example, I was telling everybody I have totally closed out the short. So what is this highlighting? This is highlighting I am not getting greedy. I'm not expecting more, but I am more than happy with the profit I have taken off of this. Okay. There's always this underlying gut feeling that when you take profits in a market, you might think to yourself, oh, I could get a little bit more. I could get a little bit more. I could get a little bit more. And there are times where I myself will, will, will trail stops instead of closing out totally. I'll wait for either a sign of strength or I'll trail stops. But in this particular setup, the CCV has an 80% probabilities of hitting. So it's a very, very, very strong setup. And the icing on the cake of this setup for me was that we hit the lows once more. And everybody turned super bearish. There was actually a really funny comment from a spectator. Um, and he commented in the group saying that he's he's obviously part of a few other groups. And he commented saying every single group 
that Elsie's following is everybody's bearish in it. And that actually got me thinking like, oh, wow, it's, it's happening again, isn't it? Like everybody's turning bearish once again at the lows. So naturally, that was a, also a decisive factor why I wanted to totally close out of those short positions and start looking for longs again, because it's the same process again and again and again. Everybody turns so bearish at the lows, it's very unlikely to break down. Everybody turns so bullish at the highs, it's very unlikely to break up. What we are doing is we are trading the range. Ultimately, this is highs to the lows, highs to the lows, highs to the lows. And obviously what you have right now is another move back up to those highs last night, which this was an insane candle. Let's be honest, that's an insane candle. But nevertheless, uh, you know, you did bring you back up to the high of the range, back down to the lows, back up to, you know, pretty close to the highs uh, once once again here on this high upper wick that you've got forming. Um, and I think like this, this is what I wanted to really highlight in this video. I am in a long still from uh, last night, but, um, you know, I, I don't care sharing this because I've basically, I've already closed the majority of the position. But um, yeah, that's why I've got my stop loss, 10,122. So, you know, there's a, definitely the possibility that even by the time this is uploaded, my stop loss has been hit. But I think what I want is a caption more in this video is not um, my positions per se, but it is the focus of the technical analysis of really, you know, it, it's all stemming from step one. And, and this, by the way, was is not hindsight trading. This is not me saying I'm long, I'm short, um, you know, really sitting on the sidelines. This is me giving an analysis of saying, yes, this is the positions I'm looking for. The short off of the, you know, off of the touch of the CC, looking down for the low of the CC. Hit, you know, what didn't hit here. We're still obviously waiting for more downside because we hadn't hit the CC. And again, this is where people are getting faked into long positions, but it's staying with the test of, you know, maintaining in those positions, not getting, you know, faked out essentially, because there you did get the fake out. If you had longed early here, or well, you very much likely got stopped out as it hit the 886 CC, and then it's again looking for targets around 10,440 ish. And then again, it's coming up to the targets. And again, once more, not getting greedy at those highs, not saying, right, I'll, I'll hold this till 10,600. No, it's actually closing positions and reversing them, continuing to trade the range that we have got. And I must, I must, um, I must say, I am very proud, not only of myself for identifying these patterns and calling them, but also then for the members, you know, taking the setup, CCV baby. <laughs> That is setups from shorts closing down at the low. You know, we, we just hit 10,300. You know, you close at the lows and then you look for the rises. And this is another great example. People longing the low. That was obviously longing for the, uh, you know, the rise up to 10,400, 10, 10,300 ish. Here you can see this member closed 10,329. And then from 10,300, shorting it way back down again. What are most people going to be doing? They're going to hold that long until thinking it's going to the moon. They're going to hold shorts thinking it's going to dump. But you can see what we're doing here. We are trading the ranges. We are, um, you know, trading it very well indeed. Now, this is this is IG. This is stocks. But, <laughs> you know, it's, it's really impressive, I think. Um, and I think it's almost like a, hopefully a used as inspiration. You know, you, you can see the results. These are literally just people in the group that have come in. They've learned the ways that we trade. Um, and, you know, they're making... You know, they're, they're doing the trades. They're, they're proving it. It's, it's really, really nice to see. Uh, there's another one <laughs> uh, that's just come in. But, you know, it's, it's brilliant. It really is. And so it's taking teachings, it's taking methods, and then it's really putting them into practice. Um, and, you know, that, that's what I wanted from today's video. It's, it's, it's a little bit of a, well, my, 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 I explained my position. I'm, I'm still in a long, and I would like to hit, once again, the top of the range here. So that's... Uh, a three percent um it's a little bit of a hard one i would say because of the fact this darth maul candle <laughs> has really thrown it off a little bit that's uh you know taking the lows taking the highs it wasn't taken on all exchanges it's a little bit of a it's a little bit of an, an anomaly per se but i think with these anomalies you just gotta you just gotta essentially trade the position that you were once trading before um so i'm, I'm basically still doing that <laughs> uh you know should we lose some of this support and come back into this region well, that's when, yeah, on this position, I'll take I'll take a stop loss, which is obviously stop loss in profits. But nevertheless, I'll take a stop and I might edge towards looking for a short, trading it back down to the low of the range. We have a partial rise, for example. Um, you know, there's many things I could do from here. But um, yeah, I hope that you've enjoyed this video of me talking you through.
through the analysis of how we go from this to this and it is maintaining clarity and i think that this is why people yeah you know this is why i can say that chart champions is a premium group because you will never ever see me inside of here really emotional i am always you know people i guess look up to me look at me as as a as their leader as their captain and you, you imagine if i was in here saying oh my god we're going to dump we're at the lows or oh my god we're going to rise we're up at the highs or or just you know i need to stay focused i need to stay on the charts and i need, and I need to stay as a voice of, of reason almost for people to be able to look up to and, and think okay he's trading it sensibly let's trade it sensibly with him sort of thing um so you know i'm happy with that and uh, i guess i can plug this <laughs> as it's a really nice comment below that of um you know i am going to be doing a uh streaming i'm uh, sorry i'm leaving again what i'm going to try and promote i'm going to be doing a contenders live streams of my new sculpting strategy so if you're interested in the theory behind this and i think the way that you have to view chart champions is yeah i'm doing a little bit of calls now but it's the focus is definitely on the education okay i, I want to teach you how to fish not then not that you just rely off, off of me that's not what i want i don't want people to rely on me for everything i want to teach them to do it themselves you know um so if you want to learn my new sculpting strategy uh then this is an educational piece that we will be teaching you uh over the next few weeks inside of the contenders live stream videos it's going to be going through uh, well firstly i'll give you all this template and then it will be obviously teaching you how to use that sculpting template which for me <laughs> let's just say it's going very well indeed um and it might look confusing here and i i would imagine everybody would look at this and think it's confusing i guess that's a challenge but also once you understand it it's, it's really not that hard um but yeah hope you've enjoyed this video today hope you've enjoyed me talking through that analysis I hope that you can use it as inspiration because I think this call was really next level to recognize the highs of a rising wedge onto the CC, to then recognize the lows, to then recognize the highs like that far in advance, knowing we're going to go down and back up, to then get that down and back up. And like to the dollar, yeah, that, that is, if that's not inspirational and impressive to show you that technical analysis is working in this market, I really don't know what is. And a bit of very good news that I want to add on to the end of the video. And that is that we have finally got the agreement sorted out with Bybit for everybody inside of the Chart Champions community. That is whether you're just a follower on Instagram, YouTube, Twitter, or in the group. This is for everybody. We have finally got this sorted of a bonus for you all. And this is off the back of so many people wanting to leave BitMEX because of KYC. So with uh, the affiliate link that we have now, uh, you are going to be able to collect $90 bonus for free. And also this, the main thing being 20% off all trading fees. I think that is absolutely, that is just not, you. you that, that is an amazing bonus. 20% off all trading fees. Absolutely brilliant. I'm happy that we got that one for you. Because they wanted us to take less. <laughs> so yeah, that, that's the announcement that I wanted to add on to this. And a few questions that I saw, was there a minimum deposit? I think for the $90, it's one Bitcoin at minimum. Obviously, you can deposit 100 Bitcoin, but minimum is one. Obviously, if you deposit less, then you can just make use of the 20% off fees. And uh, yeah, you can have more than one account. So you can have like five accounts if you want on Bybit uh, for them all to make use of the 20% off fees obviously you can have several different scalping accounts a swing trade account a scalping account you know there's a mixture of things that you can have but yeah they can all make use of that 20% off with the uh with the link I'll, I will leave that down in the description below um so yeah I just wanted to add that on good news for you all cheers <laughs> thank you and hope you've enjoyed bye